and welcome to our his and hers holiday beauty slash grooming essentials video from South Africa. From South Africa. So Charlie is going. South Africa. Yes. Charlie's getting quite used to having a camera thrust in his face. No, not really. Well, I've been vlogging quite a lot recently, so. I have to, I have to be quite yes. patient. So I thought, seeing as we were in such beautiful surroundings, we're in the Twelve Apostles Hotel in Camps Bay, we thought we'd make the most of it and film a video. So we thought we would pick out five, I may have got a few more, um, essentials that are kind of beauty slash grooming slash pampering essentials for taking on holiday. So I'm going to go first because I've got more than Loads. five. Okay, yes. So my first holiday beauty essential is an exfoliating shower scrub because you don't want your tan to go flaky, you don't want to have any dry skin when you're on holiday and I've chosen the L'Occitane, I can't pronounce this, Pivoine, Pivoine Sublime? Yeah, Piv Pivoine. Pivoine. Uh, L'Extract de Pivoine. Is that English on the other side? No. no. Um, so this is a gentle <laughs> two-in-one exfoliating perfecting scrub and um, the reason why I've chosen this one is because it's really really gentle. It turns into an oily kind of milky lather on the skin so if you are a teeny tiny bit sunburnt then this one is still really really lovely. And, it's and it not, smells good. It smells amazing. It smells like peonies. How, how, why do you like it? It's really girly. Well, I used it in the shower. It smells good. <laughs> Charlie uses Caught a lot. Caught out. Caught out there. <laughs> Charlie uses a lot of my beauty essentials, don't you darling? Um, yeah, nothing. so it's really good for giving yourself a bit of a pre-beach scrub. Cool. Okay, along the scrub lines, it's the origins. I never know how to say that. Ginseng? Ginseng. Um, it's called a refreshing scrub cleanser. It's just it's basically just a really good face scrub. Mm -hmm. A little bit summery, quite ho quite quite good for holiday. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just just a good face scrub. I think it's quite good after shaving as well yeah. to get rid of any sort of rash. I actually had to wet shave for the first time in like years this holiday because my razor ran out of battery. But um, so yeah, so it's helped me with that. But yeah, it's a nice bottle too. It does smell amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. and it's it's not it's not micro beads though, is it? Right. Um, refreshing scrub cleanser. Well, origins <coughs> is mostly natural, especially yeah. oh, it's coffee bean. Yeah, good. Yeah. So it's good for the environment. Mm -hmm. So my next two are both after shower products and I'm doing two in one because they're both kind of similar. Um, neither of which are after suns because we've both been really good with our SPF recently and we haven't really been getting burnt so no need for proper after sun. But firstly I've chosen the Heal Gel Body um, Calm Nourishing, basically the yellow one from Heal Gel. I've also got the green one which is good for if you do happen to get any burny bits but thank the Lord, I haven't had to use it yet. So this is really good for replenishing the skin, letting it kind of get back to its normal healthy state, if you will. Renewing. Yeah, it's called the Advanced Skin Rescue um, Apply to Dry Skin, and I find that this sinks in really, really quickly. So I can then go in with an oil, and I love oils because they give the skin a lovely kind of subtle glisten. And the reason why, <laughs> what? <laughs> And the reason why I've chosen the Avon Skin So Soft Oil is because firstly it's a dry oil so again sinks in really quickly, you don't have any kind of grease on your hands. Don't worry, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Are those old ladies watching us? No, there's someone outside. Oh no, we're being watched, there's... the window's right there so we have a bit of an audience right now but we're going to carry on anyway. But the great thing about this oil, and I feel like not enough people know this, is that it's actually anti-mosquito. It's not official anywhere but um, there's something about this that the insects absolutely hate. So if I spritz this all over, which I do most evenings, it stops any creepy crawlies from biting me. So this is definitely another holiday essential. Okay, one more for me. Let's go with moisturiser. So this, it, actually this is one that I use pretty much all the time in the UK as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's Clarins Men, I never know how to say that either. It's a super moisture balm. Um, it's from their men's collection. Makes me feel like it is specifically for men. Um, it's for men. Yeah, I know, but they say that, don't they? It's, <laughs> it's a moisturiser, but it's a really good one. Obviously it's really good to keep your skin, especially your face, moisturised during a holiday mm -hmm. um, to maximise that tan. Trying to trying to get as tan as possible, but yeah, it's just a really good product. Nice size as well for your uh, for your toiletry bag. Yeah, call it that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So Clarins Men Super Moisture Balm. Whoop, whoop. Boom. My next one is just a teeny teeny tiny one, but this is such an essential for my hair. If anybody else gets those kind of matted dreadlocks after they go on the beach, or you just find your hair really hard to comb through, then you'll know that a leave-in conditioner is so essential for beach holidays. Don't you think, darling? Yes. Yes. It does. It's, it just 
Like Sorry Siri. about my Siri going off in the background, by the way. My middle button is stuck down. But this one here is the Purology Color Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier for Perfecting <sighs> Color Treated Hair. Yeah, lots of words. On a small bottle. But it is an amazing, amazing product. I find that I just spritz <clears throat> this all over, especially in the kind of crown area. Yeah, my hair is still pretty wet right now. Um, and it just helps me to detangle my hair. I don't need to put anything else in the ends, let it air dry, and it doesn't go frizzy. So really, really handy product. I've actually finished this this evening, so I've had to go and buy a uh, local version, which won't be as good, but I cannot do without this stuff. Next for me, I like L'Oreal's men products. Um, I use a lot of them, but this one's really good. It's a black charcoal face wash. Um, I kind of use it every day, so I'd probably use it as well as using the scrub, mm -hmm. or certainly after like exercise or after sunbathing and sweating a bit, it's really good to clear the pores. Um, charcoal's a good one. Yeah, though. yeah. Dragging I mean, out the dirt. Yeah, charcoal's a big thing, isn't it? But it seems to work. It's a nice foam as well. Um, just don't get it in your Is eyes. It foam up? Yeah, it foams up. It's like a black foam. Are we but trying that one? Don't get it in your eyes because it hurts a lot. But, um, but yeah, it's a good product. Sounds good. I will definitely be trying that one. My next one is a really, really obvious one for holiday, but for this holiday we are in South Africa, as I mentioned, and it is their autumn season. I've chosen the Pisboin Tan and Protect Tan Accelerating Oil. This one is SPF 15, it also comes in SPF 30, but because it's not hot, hot, and the sun is not too intense right now, but we still obviously need protection, I've gone for this one. So you've still got that SPF, UVA, and UVB protection, but because it's an oil, it helps to accentuate your tan. So we still managed to get a little bit of colour, although the lighting right now is completely completely washing us out, although you still look really brown. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we've still managed to get a little bit of colour thanks to the fact that this is an oil. So this is definitely and it smells good. a holiday essential and it smells amazing. Pisboin smell just reminds me of, of holidays. holidays. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Love this stuff. Mm, lovely. Any more? Um, yeah, another product. It's a new one for me. It's from This Works, which is a brand I really like. Can I, I like. just say, whenever I get blogger mail, Charlie always is rummaging through and yeah, picking it up. Yeah, I love the brand This Works. It sounds really sad, but it's their sleep spray that's yeah. really good. We like their roll-on um, as well, don't we? Yeah, their roll-on sleep spray, their pillow sleep spray. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm going to admit to it, because none of my mates watch this. Um, <laughs> I use a lot of eye cream. I normally use Clarins or Clinique eye roller, and they're quite good, but this one's pretty cool. It's called Light Time Open Eyes, and it's got like a... It's got like a weird, quite scary oh, looking roller really thing. Cooling, right? But yeah, it actually feels really nice when you're applying it like this. And yeah, so I think it, it, it comes out there okay. and then you rub it on with the silver side. But okay. it, it genuinely makes a difference. Genuinely makes a difference. What, straight away? Like puffiness in the morning. Doesn't feel as puffy. Ooh. And I get quite big, big uh, black. Amazing. Well, I do sometimes, anyway. Especially on holiday when you're dehydrated, that's when you're going to get black eye bags. Stick it in your case. That's the badger. Alright, my next one is, or my next few are beach beauty related. And firstly, I've chosen a tinted moisturiser with additional SPF in it. So I'll always use a facial SPF. My favourite is the Pisboin Factor 34 Sensitive Skin because it doesn't have any, um, sometimes my skin goes a little bit red in the sun, but the Pisboin one just is really nice and calming for my skin. But because I do want additional cover, I've also been using the La Prairie, it's really hard to read, Cellular Swiss Ice Crystal Transforming Cream, and this is also SPF 30 with UVA protection. Now this is of course super duper expensive, so you don't have to use this one, just any tinted moisturiser with an SPF. I also really like Guerlain's Terracotta, which is SPF 20, and I think Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue has SPF as well, but don't quote me on that. But this just gives a really light coverage to stop any redness, um, and I just feel a little bit more glamorous on the beach and also very protected when I have a tinted moisturiser on. Okay, on to my favourite product of all time, Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I use it religiously. Okay. Um, it's very good. I also notice, I'm, I'm convinced, and it's meant to be for it, that with all the scars and cuts I get in rugby season, mm. I'm pretty sure it makes quite a big difference. Is it healing like, as well? Yeah, just, you know, like the average, like, stub mark or scratch, or sort of, like, small deep cuts. Yeah. Obviously, don't put it directly onto a deep cut. But, um, yeah, as Josie said earlier, we don't really use after sun, um, and this is just really good to keep skin moisturised, um, like, legs and stuff like that that can get a bit dry mm -hmm. during... during uh, a beach session. So yeah, Palmer's Cocoa Butter, the standard one. They do do a men's one. but They also do a tanning one, which yeah. is amazing. Okay, well I didn't know about that. But they do a yeah, men's one really as well. Um, but It's just blue, right? It's exactly the same. It's just branded differently. Yeah. Um, yeah, so good product. Which smells amazing. And I'm going to cluster my last four together to whiz through them, them, them. and they're all um, more Beach Beauty Essentials, mostly from the Clarins Summer range, which 
I talked a lot about in my spring summer beauty launches video which I will link down below. Um, firstly the Clarins Fix Makeup Long Lasting Makeup Hold Hydrates, Refreshes, Soothes. So this is a spray which I spray on after I've done my makeup and not only does it give my skin a little bit more hydration which is always really good on holiday but also stops my makeup from sliding down my face so I use this in the daytime and in the evening and it just sets my makeup. Next is a tinted lip balm. When I'm on the beach, I don't like to have a lipstick on because it's just too much. This is the Benefit Cha Cha Tint. It gives a really lovely coral kind of sheen to my lips and also protecting and moisturising. Nice yeah, nice a really nice well. colour, love a bit of coral. On the eyes, I have a waterproof cream eyeshadow, also from the Clarins Summer Collection. This is a really lovely metallic kind of goldy copper, so it just looks very almost Ibiza evening, just metallic, a little bit of shine to it, but not too obvious. So it's not like an evening um, metallic, but you could layer it up to be an evening one. And lastly, the Clarins Double Fix Mascara, and this is basically a top coat for your favourite mascara, which turns it waterproof, and it really, really works. Clarins are just amazing when it comes to making things waterproof, so this has become a new beach essential. Nice! Yes. And we thought that to finish, we would include our favourite beach gadgets, because Charlie and I are both kind of into our gadgets. Gadgets, That makes gadget it sound one. quite dorky. So yeah. I'm going to let Charlie go first. Okay, well this is something that we got actually about six months ago. So it's from UE, so Ultimate Ears, and it's their Ultimate Ears Roll, mm -hmm. UE Roll. Yeah. Now what's quite cool is, A, it's waterproof, so you can actually just, you can drop it in a swimming pool, obviously it will sink, but it comes that, with like... No, I think... No, no, this sinks but slowly, but it does actually have like an inflatable, oh, like yeah. almost like a lilo for a speaker. Um, but for the beach, it's really good. Obviously it's Bluetooth, um, it's rechargeable and it's got quite a long battery and it can mm -hmm. hang like that in the shower as well. Mm -hmm. So all in all, it's just pretty cool product. Yeah, um, and really good quality sound, isn't it? Yeah, so it's quite nice. It's a good speaker for in your room, for like if you're having dinner with friends and then obviously at the beach, you don't need to worry about breaking it. Mm. Um, it's and it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, good quality. So that, really that's my favourite beach gadget. Mine is a very new addition to my beach gadget collection and I'm so chuffed that I picked this up. We found this in a shopping mall on the waterfront a couple of days ago. It was the radio, ago. wasn't it? Huh? It was on the radio is where you got obsessed with it. Or was it on the magazine or no, something? No, it was Vod the Vodacom, the radio station. Anyway, MTN, sorry. KFM, Cape Town's favourite radio station. <laughs> anyway, so this is a solar powered battery pack. So. Any other bloggers out there or anyone that's constantly on their mobile phone, like me and like Charlie, sorry, will know that iPhone battery and a lot of other smartphones is rubbish. So this um, not only charges your phone, but charges itself using solar power and it can also charge your camera battery. But you can, char you can charge it up from the, with, wall. from the wall. Yeah. So then you can have it as a battery pack from the wall and then if it starts to run low at the beach, you can charge it up again. Yeah. Obviously it won't be very useful in the UK um, <laughs> with the <laughs> little sun. But I don't, I don't entirely know what that's for. It's like a hook. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But it's also got a torch, which is kind of cool. Yeah, um, it's so a nice size as well. It is a really good size. It's no heavier than my existing battery and pack, which is great. It's called My Power. I'm sure well, there there's are loads, loads of these ones. sort of things. Aren't yeah, there? this was just quite cheap because it's South African rand. Um, but this is going to be super duper useful for the rest of this trip, for our days on the beach, and also when I do Trek America because I'm not sure how often we're going to like get electricity. So yes, really really pleased with this new little addition. And that is it. Those are our beach essentials, the his and her versions, and also our beach gadgets. So what hey about guys. Dexter's? Oh, what would Dexter's be? Dexter's. <laughs> you like a dog, Lilo. <laughs> sunglasses. Oh, we miss him. If so there's much. anyone watching this that knows where we can get some sunglasses for dogs, please post below. Or like a life jacket or, or like anything. Armband. Post some ideas for Dexter. Dexter was in Time Out magazine last night for oh, yeah. 10 London dogs doing Instagram better than you. Solid also, number five as well. Here's number five. I'll leave a link to that down below as well because it's amazing. His first press. Anyway, we've got to dash off for a lovely picnic on the mountain watching the sunset. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up for more videos with Charlie. Thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see more of us, then check out my South Africa vlog videos. And we will see you very soon. Bye. See you later. That's it. Okay. Done. Cheers, Siri. Bye. Bye.